soon you will be one of my children of the night. Cool! That accent is so phony. How could anyone believe all this vampire stuff? <laughs> it's all plastic teeth and ketchup, Tony. Nuh-uh. My dad told me. I want to be a vampire! Bedtime, boys! I'm afraid it's time to go home, Tony. No! Don't send me into the night! I beg of you! But it's dark. Practice more quietly. Ah! Come on, it's time to get up. Can't get up. I'm a vampire. Besides, it's Saturday. Wayne, you kept me awake all night last night, thumping around. Well, pardon me for not being a girl pants. I'm a vampire! I need blood! <laughs> I've always thought there was something weird about Wayne. I know he's weird, Tony, but that doesn't make him a vampire. Vampires don't even exist. Well, that's what you've always been told, Lucian. But it's time to open your eyes. Look! See? The mosquito makes a meal of my blood so that he might live. Oh! Did you have to do that? Ah, my darling, you are as cold as a grave. Not much of a fight. I need something with a bit more life in it. Even you, Lucian Crab, you feast yourself on the blood of that orange. And the bank manager, draining the life from his clients. Bloodsuckers, my dad calls them. Does he owe them money? They're everywhere, Lucian. Mosquitoes, spiders, bats, leeches, juice drinkers, bank managers, teachers, health inspectors, vampires everywhere! You're about to become a kitty of the night! Blood has been drawn! Now my vampire training is complete! The mark of the cat! Don't say I didn't warn you. Wayne, dear, I do wish you wouldn't wear curtains at the dinner table. They're not curtains! They're my cape! And I want to change my name, too! To Count Grampula! But that sounds foreign. Wayne, go to sleep! Can't sleep, Mommy. I got insomnia again. You must get some sleep, Wayne. You've stayed up two nights in a row, and it's school tomorrow! Uh, vampires don't go to school, Mom! They go wherever they want, whenever they want! You'll see. Wayne Cramp, get down from those coat hooks, Toot Sweet! And take off those dressing up clothes. They're not dress up clothes! I'm a vampire! I'm called Count! That's enough, Wayne. I'm confiscating your cape. No! Not my cape! My cape is my culture! Like Valdeep's turban! Or Hamish's kilt! Good morning, class! Oh! Are you manhandling that child? Uh, maybe. But Wayne Cramp was insisting he's a vampire, Mr. Pretty. A Transylvanian 
that's great. In this school, we embrace cultural diversity in all its forms. No hats in class, Ball Deep. But it is a turban, Mr. Pretty. Yeah, whatever. Just take it off. Ah! Oh! Monster. Miss Hissy, Wayne is frightening everyone. Can't you do something? Sorry, Mari. Mr. Pretty says we have to embrace all cultures in our school, <laughs> even vampires. How can we embrace a culture that encourages the terrorizing of small girls? May I stop you right there? Young Crampula is a Transylvanian. I think he has a right to fright. Go play, please. Your first parents' evening tonight, Mr. Pretty, and an opportunity to meet our Transylvanian community. No garlic. Of course not, Miss Hissy. They treat Wayne like an endangered species. Maybe we should go to a court of human rights or something. Or raise an angry mob against him. That's what swamp folk do when they find a monster in their midst. Hi there. Good evening. Enjoy, Mr. and Mrs. Crapula. Welcome in. Bienvenue. Welcome. Uh, is it dark enough for you? Friends, children of the school, there is a monster in our midst. He has frightened small children, terrorized women. He has been caught bothering livestock and bears the mark of the cat! He must be run to ground! Oh! You'll never catch me, flab faces! I'm cloaked by the night! Oh! I really have the deepest respect for your traditions. You do? <laughs> oh, yes. Now, would you like me to arrange special lunches for Wayne? Or do you call him Count? Uh, what does he like to bite? Maybe he's turned into a bat. Look, gum. Or is it bat droppings? For the last time, our name is not Crampula, and our son is not, nor ever has been, a vampire. I never said he was. It was Miss Hissy. She takes all that rootsy stuff a bit far. Not me. Oh! This has gone far enough, Wayne. Give in. Admit it. You're not a real vampire. I am too real, girl pants. Yeah! yeah! He's mine. Soundproof poly cotton. Expensive. You like? If you were a clever count, you could easily prove you were a real vampire. Yeah? With just one simple love bite on my neck. <laughs> That's what real vampires do. No way! That's gross! Well, if you won't bite mine, I'll have to bite yours! No! I'm not real! I'm not real! Get her! She's a vampire! I'm sorry I was playing vampires, Mommy. It was Wendy's idea. Sanctuary! <laughs> Nothing there. Uh, uh, nothing at all. Ah!